students, kindly settle down. No talking. All students with the songs, maintain silence. We are doing it. Someone who is good at science, 
like some of the Buddha studies, broadly divided in math, science, whatsoever, Hindi, Sanskrit, language, some of its physical effect, a sports person. These are the variables, these are the parameters which allow you to decide what goal you are going to set. Again, you are a rookie, I am telling you. You are new to this world, you don't know how this world, outside world is going to treat you. Before deciding on this poor setting up of Google, you must talk to your parents, teachers, whomsoever you want to talk. Have a great talking session with them, keeping in mind these are all variables. Don't go like that, if I go to class, oh, I am going to take too much, no, not at all. Not at all. You can't qualify exam in a single day. You have given an entire year of time and you just uh, keep on repeating the things and then you pass it to the exam. So why you are so much hurried about setting up a goal? If you are in class 6 or class 7, take some amount of time. Discuss with your family. Discuss with the teachers. With all these variables and different stakeholders which are there. Okay? So the first thing which you are going to do to be a, what I say, so in a sense of belonging, a sense of responsibility rather I say, setting up a goal. Okay? With having all the controllers in your hand, all the variables which are there in your hand. Okay? One fine day to get up and say I want to be you. Got it now? This is the model of operating while setting up a goal. Okay? Now the second thing. The qualities, the good attitude. See, now you have set the goal. Suppose I want to be in a army person. Or I want to be in a warfare person. The second important thing is your attitude. This, this present world is full of distraction, you know. Full of distraction. So here one quality. Everyone can buy this. Perseverance, hard working, whether I, say, whether I say smart working followed by hard working. While you have set a goal, it will be a long term goal, right? I am telling you. Thereafter, perseverance is very important. Because this, I know you all are having carrying mobile phones and all, you are on social media. I am not against those all things, but I will say these are the biggest enemy you are having in your pocket. Use it, but in a controlled way. Now, what the biggest problem with this, uh, what I say, the so-called new generation, the JTZ? They are very much result-oriented. They just focus on result. You know, if you are focusing on the result, the one biggest problem is, now you set a goal. And now you are just focusing on the result. Yes, going to be in favor of me or not in favor and then from there you start with things you start a journey no, it should not be like that if you are so much focused on the result you will be just like a pressure cooker your brain will be just like a pressure cooker you must believe on the process if parents are there or teachers are there I don't know if parents are there and if teachers are there I will request them that try to see if the student who has like uh, set a goal, what process he is following? Is the process which is following in following that process? You have to be very disciplined while following the process. You have to enjoy the process. If you are going to enjoy the process, mark my words, you will achieve what you want. Sky is going to be clear. I am telling you. Don't be so much stress out because of the results. Just enjoy the process. Just enjoy the learning. If you enjoy the process, you will achieve it. Third, now you, set a, you have set a goal, you are enjoying your process of learning. Now you are jumping. You got it what you want. So here comes one very important thing. It's my philosophy. Degradation of the energy, negative energy when you are acting for the stability. This is my concept. You are not going to find anywhere in the book. This is mine. 
Why I tell you this? Because when you are at the top, when you are at the peak, while pursuing this thing, different, like they have different attitudes. You will reach at the peak, at the peak of the mountain, what you want to achieve. With that negative energy also grows, the arrogance, the attitude, the overconfidence in nature. It will come and tell you when you are at the peak, you will have this. So, I know when you are at the peak, the senior lord, it's called you are at a higher potential energy. When you are at a higher potential energy, nature follows a very vital role, it wants to decrease its energy for this ability. So, when you are at the top, I am not saying you come down in terms of your career, no, not at all. I am not talking that, that you are at a peak, no, you won't be a monk, no, no. I am talking of the degradation, decrease your all negative energy, that is the arrogance. Respect your leaders, okay? Respect your teachers, whomsoever is senior to you. Be humble, be polite. With that degradation of that negative energy, I am telling you, at the peak because when you are at the peak, n number of what I say, uh, enemy is going to like kill you like anything, wind will be there to shatter you. So if you want to be stable at the peak, degrade, degrade your this negative energy. It will help you. Trust me. And finally, don't procrastinate. Don't do anything. This is the attitude I am seeing in the uh, present scenario. You just procrastinate, we will do tomorrow. I am telling you tomorrow never comes. Start from today, you start from this hour. Okay? Now one question will come, 100%. Sir, I have followed what you have said. I have set a goal. I was very much here, working hard to achieve it. Now you will ask me a question. By following this all, how much am I going to 100% achieve what I want to achieve? No, not at all. Because this is the competitive world. You have to accept it also. If there are 100 vacancies, crores of people are behind it, crores of chapter are there. If you don't achieve the goal, what we have said, you will be a responsible citizen of India. You have a whole lot of this. I am telling you, and you will survive this world. Because this world is full of anomaly and all. So surviving this our school environment, our school ecosystem which has been established by so called people, you have to be strong. And when you will execute this entire process, toward this journey, it will make you strong. Even if you don't achieve what you want to achieve. But you will be strong enough to survive in this situation. Okay? I will not take much time. Okay. All the best for your future. All the best for all your coming future endeavors. With the hope that sky is going to the limit, it's my personal belief. God bless you. And I would like to thank all the competent authority for inviting me on this official rotation. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you. And one good thing I will appreciate regarding uh, one initiative initiated by the school to help the uh, uh, people around you by spreading awareness of the environment. And I was very much particular, uh, particular about the environment. Uh, the green system, go green and all. So I am very thankful director to establish this thing and enhancing and encouraging the all the new generation to uh, plant more number of trees and uh, uh, what I say go green. Thank you. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Thank you.
जय श्री राम टू ऑल यू
so that he could go to college. Younger sister, think about the sibling in your family. Why? He got himself educated and then he went to the National Defense Academy, which is what? Making sure his fittest mind, body, and I was telling him, it's the same journey. That's why when you have an athlete in part of the biology, you stay fit so that your mind doesn't play games on you. And he did. And he, he says, he failed once. But it didn't matter, perseverance. So when he said all these words, it was not light-hearted. He has lived it. Let's live the moment. He persevered and he said, okay, I failed once. So what? I'm going to do it again, but I'm not going to give up. And guess what? He passed. And now, he stands tall as a leader. And he joined the armed forces. And even there, Fred selected him to go to the Navy. After that, what? You know what? Understand, this is what it comes down to. It's not about the marks. It's not about the marks that you have. So, all of you, this call. His first thing was, went back to his mother and said, My sister, the younger sister has sacrificed so much. Now, I'm going to make sure I support her. You know what? She is working towards getting an IAS from Delhi. Look at the sister and brother working in tandem with the mother. And for once, just an applause for his mother. I just remind you, we have, uh, you know, please carry this applause for your mother. And then what? He became an officer, his sister, and positive she became an IAS officer. She doesn't even understand, probably doesn't understand what this means and you don't understand what it means. And I, I take it for But what happened was, he was one of the officers and look how God is always looking after you, never. He was one of the youngest officers to get selected to do his masters in Indian Institute Let me put this in perspective, please. Let me put this in perspective. A small village, a boy from a small village, coming from the tribal areas, whose father was afflicted, completes all this journey by sheer determination and perseverance, supports his younger sister, gets selected to go to where? To go to Indians of Science, where it, it is the best university of India. It's very difficult to get admission there. You can get admission to Harvard and all of that, but not to Indian Institute of Science. Many of your parents are, are, are professors in this university. And that's the man. That's the man who is going to go up higher and higher to protect us. Now, comes ours. Why should he protect us? That's the journey of Republic. That's what is being taught to you in social sciences. Why should he protect us? If somebody attacks, China is waiting to take over India, waiting. America is waiting to take over India. Why should he protect us from there? Would we, if America takes over, we should be happy. We are all Americans. We can wear jeans and whatever. Yes? We should be. They are waiting to take over India. China is true. One is a communist country, the other is a capitalist country. Nothing matters more than money to them. America, nothing matters more than money. China is the other way around. China wants to cut down no rights to people. You cannot pray to any god, you cannot do this or that. This is the journey, he's protecting you from that. Please understand, it's not about the stalls. Understand the journey. And 22nd was a very important day. The greatest thing. And this is what Swami Vivekananda told us, be proud of being Indian. 
Be proud of being a Hindu. So, people who are Muslims or Christians, should they be back? No. You are Muslims and Christians, but you are still in a Hindu land, which is what? It doesn't matter which God you pray to. It does not. But you are Indian. Because that God is truth. Whether you call it Christ, you call it Allah, you call it whatever, that's the truth. We all Indians, that is where the Indians are different.
Afghanistan is gone. They are fighting with each other. Taliban is taken over. Girls cannot go to school. So you girls are lucky to go to school here. They cannot go to school there. Girls can women cannot work there. Afghanistan is gone. They were part of India. Then came Pakistan and Bangladesh. So our country was made into peace by the British. And we still look what we are doing. We are still speaking their language with pride because they didn't allow. So what is the journey? So in social studies, they teach you a lot of chapters. But you don't know your true identity. So from 22nd, you are starting to know your true identity. It's capturing the culture back. Today, one on one on day that happened from 22nd. What is that one on day? And here's the journey. Do you know who is the president of India? Draupadi Murmu. Do you know who she is? Tribal person. What does it mean? So. One of the things that you need to do is the Europeans put all kinds of nonsense in our heads and we continue to put nonsense in our heads. Who is a type of person? A warrior. What warrior? A warrior between the wild and the domesticated. They fight for the wild. They fight for the forest. They are living in the periphery of the jungles. They know what it means to destroy the environment. So they fight for us. And in such a pride, when Draupadi, Mrs. Draupadi Murmu became the president of India, it's an identity of India. A tribal person, a woman at that, who is a classy lady, class, educated. She also lost her husband. She also lost her son. But carries herself with dignity and pride. So we captured the tribal person also doesn't wear too many clothes. He doesn't wear unnecessary clothes. A tribal person lives simple. That's the identity of India. We live simple clothes. We don't want too many things. So when Draupadi Murmu became the president, Srimati Draupadi Murmu became the president, he said, it's representing us that we are simple people with high thinking. Simple living, high thinking. So we are starting to capture our identity. I know I'm taking time. I'm purposely doing that because this will be missed in your social science. Second, what is the Europeans do next? The Europeans did something next. Please hear me out. Even the teachers. They talked of Myanmar. You know, we started a school, Kenshi was in Myanmar. He started a school in Myanmar, Burma. And that was part of our country. And the monks, in, Buddhist monks in Myanmar, requested Rohini Ma'am and I to make sure that we taught Sanskrit to them. The script is very similar to Kannada and Telugu. And they wanted us to teach Sanskrit to them. So the second thing that the Europeans did when they came to this country was they burnt our universities, they burnt our libraries, they destroyed our temples, I told you that. Why? They didn't want it to be the cultural center. Cultural center. Temples are a cultural center. That is where we know what clothes to wear, what food we eat, what our daily habits are. What do you go and see in a temple? Our culture is preserved but they destroyed our temples. Many of you don't go to temples now. Go there. That is what is called satsang. People of the same thinking come to a temple. Is it important to go to a temple as a Hindu? Not really. You are carrying God in your heart. So I don't need to go to a temple. But you need to because the environment there helps you preserve your mind. So the second thing that the Europeans did was they destroyed all this and there was a person called my colleague who said, let's destroy the culture, he will destroy the Indians. And if you see his speech, he said there were no beggars, there are no thieves in India. 
that was what it was before. But when they brought their European culture here, we started here, here thieves and beggars started. Because they stole our money. Please give. I'm telling you your ancestor's story. Your ancestors and my ancestors' story. They planted another thing. And that other thing was, look at the color of this field. If people who are not sit in a separate bench, go in a separate train, drink from separate water fountains, this is what they get all over the world. Think about it. If you are dark skinned, you have to drink from a separate fountain as if you are somebody. Is this our Krishna, Lord Krishna was dark skinned. We never had that thought. We never had that thought. This European who you all think are the British and the Americans you think and Australians, Canadians that you think that they are civilized or uncivilized skin has nothing to do with the way you live this was not India you are going to recapture that so what happened? the Dravidian and the Aryan came why? that is what is happening in Tamil Nadu there is no Dravidian, they did a DNA. They looked at, there is no difference between Dravidian and Ali. They planted that story in our heads. They said all those people who are light skinned are Ali. They are part of our European race. Why they could plunder this country even more? So you see the bad things they put in our heads. Please understand any new teacher. This is the journey of India. So they started looking at the skin color. Afri South Africa and African continent had the worst. They are still plundering them. Even today, they are plundering the Africans. Why? Because the Africans are not... They remove the culture, just like I told you about Iran and Afghanistan and Pakistan and Bangladesh. They remove the culture and it was gone. So they planted this Dravidian Aryan thing. They are called Dravidian Aryan. We are all the same. The next thing that they did, the Europeans, was they said, hey, you know what, you are different caste. You are different caste. Please hear me out. Kenshiites, if somebody asks what your caste is, tell them, don't use a bad word. Don't use a bad word. Let me tell you all, teachers included, everyone is born a sutra. Everyone is born a sutra. Which is what? Service to Mother Nature. Service to Mother Nature. A doctor is a shudra. A dentist is a shudra. A veterinarian is a shudra. It's not just the power of Karmikas. Because what? All the elements of nature are taking care of them. So all of us are born shudras. We, some of us like to be shudras. We like to be in the service of Mother Nature. What is that shudra? means that's my profession. I like to take care of Mother Nature. Very important kids. So, please make sure you do. What does this do? When your mother, when you were born, please understand. When your mother fed you with her milk, she was making sure that she ate the right things so that you could be healthy. Right? She ate the right food. She didn't go to eat all kinds of nonsense when she was feeding you. They say feeding us from her. We need to know the place of India. And we nurture when you put run. It attracts insects, bugs, because it's made of flour, and it also it, it attracts. And I've always told you this: if the butterflies disappear from this earth, it takes only two more years for us all humans to be wiped out. If the bees are gone, we are all wiped out in two years flat, because nothing to pollinate the tree, uh, the plant. So when you are learning your subjects, understand this. So the Europeans broadcast caste, the word caste is 
not even an Indian word. It's a Portuguese word. Casta. We are only something called Varna. Varna is profession. So we are all Sudras. At 7 or 8 years old, we are given this thread. We have put this thread. It doesn't matter who you are. What does that thread mean? That you are going to a place of learning. You are going to a place of learning. Everybody is put this thread. Regardless of who you are. To protect you. To protect you.
If you look at John on the best citizens of my age.
There is one promise to give back much more than we get. And
from chapter 6 of Mahatmanishai, the verse 6717, which is considered as one of the more important and used for Indians. He describes one of the main attributes of a person who has achieved the highest level of spiritual progress and one to give it. Sampurang Tiranukal, they are also known as 
बाइक ये
Thank you. 
it all later
back here in the hurry yet.
said, don't use that bad word. Yes? Start, start doing that. Yes? Start doing that. Yes? So, we should go and make it. We got in the middle of the seven. Come on.
Was, was, was? 